organisms and population organisms and its environment part 1 in this we are going to discuss role of ecology at organism organismic level first we must know first thing what is ecology ecology is the study of the interaction between living and non living things now ecology is basically involved in four levels uh, of the living beings that is organismic population then communities and biomes these four in this we are going to only discuss about organismic level role of ecology basically ecology in organismic level means or role of ecology means physiological study of organisms related to their adaptivity adaptivity that is both survival as well as reproductive in simple words in a specific environment or a location or ecology uh, how uh, how an uh, organism can survive as well as reproduce successfully is discussed um, in this or studied in this type of uh, ecology now what are the main types of factors which controls this interaction means between living and non living beings factors are physiochemical or abiotic including temperature light water and soil and biotic factors which include pathogens parasites competitors predators of an organism with which it is interacting in a regular basis it can be per day per minute per second or per month or per year any time the time duration can be uh, more or less now in this we are going to mainly discuss about role or interaction of living beings with uh, abiotic factors first we must know that uh, the biotic factors we know the names now we know that duration of temperature or uh, the variation in temperature deter as well as light determines uh, the seasons and amount and uh, variation of rainfall or precipitation basically these two things that is season and precipitation or light temperature and rainfall basically controls the types of biomes or types of uh, types of biomes like desert tundra polar greenland grassland etc so that mainly controls by controlled by temperature and precipitation except then that few living beings or extreme type of living beings can survive in extreme environmental conditions starting from hydrothermal vents to top of mountain to uh, densest of forest any type of extreme environment is not suitable for most living beings but few extreme kind of living beings can survive successfully that is uh, they can reproduce also in these type of environments now coming to the role of temperature temperature all these four factors except then that few other abiotic factors are there as well but these are the most important uh, factors uh, on which all the living beings depend on now coming to role of temperature temperature mainly controls as i told the seasons as well as in case of internal uh, or in organismic level if we think it controls all the metabolic activity by controlling the enzyme kinetics or rate of enzymatic reaction in turn it um, controls it means temperature yeah. controls all the biotic activities of a living being and depending on the temperature range living beings are divided into mainly two types urihaline and sorry urethermal and stenothermal 
urethermal uh, uh, organisms can survive in a wide range of temperature so urethermal living beings can survive in a wide range of therm temperature whereas um, stenothermal living beings can survive only in a narrow range of temperature now coming to role of light first coming to role of water so water is one another important uh, factor influencing life of organisms that we know that uh, uh, in earth life originated in aquatic environment and water is the most important factor for survival of any living being because uh, in our body 70% and in case of any living being the major content of the body is water now coming to uh, desert living beings they are highly adapted so that they can survive in less in presence of less amount of water the productivity as well as distribution of plants depends on water living beings which uh, belong to aquatic em environment either fresh water or marine depends and face as well water related problems like aquatic for aquatic organism the quality of water that is chemical composition and ph is very important because um, we can compare like this fresh water uh, living beings cannot survive for a long period of time in marine environment or vice versa because uh, every living being has a specific range of uh, temp uh, salinity that is uh, salt concentration in parts per thousand every living being can have a specific range of salinity in which it can survive otherwise it will die as i told the example uh, of uh, marine uh, um, living beings with uh, fresh water living beings so uh, the salinity or salt concentration is less than 5% in inland waters it's 30 to 35% in sea and more than 100% in hypersaline lagoon then coming to light light is as important as temperature for all the terrestrial living beings in case of aquatic which are benthic animals means which uh, live at uh, deep uh, inside or deep down the ocean those organisms can present can survive as well as reproduce successfully in absence of life in absence of light throughout their life they do not depend on water uh, depend on light same is not applicable for terrestrial organisms because plants for plants the most important um, life process is photosynthesis as well as all heterotrophic organisms depend on plants for photosynthesis as well as food now small plants like herbs and shrubs they are adapted uh, in uh, low light that is photosynthetic uh, they can photosynthesize optimally at under very low light conditions because they are constantly overshadowed by tall plants now many plants depend on sunlight to meet their photoperiodic uh, requirement same is appl applicable for animals that as they depend on diurnal and seasonal variations in light for uh, foraging reproductive and migratory activities now coming to soil soil is home for many living beings now uh, in presence of uh, and the type of soil controls type of living being now the type of son, uh, soil is controlled by factors like soil composition grain size aggregation it determines percolation and water holding capacity as well as other parameters which are included as uh, or which are considered as um, 
characteristics of soil include pH, mineral composition, topography and all of these factors collectively controls the type of uh, vegetation or the type of plants which can which is able to grow in a specific uh, location or specific type of soil.